I'm Dr. Paul Schottbolt, and I'm program leader for the MSc in Clinical Neuropsychiatry at the Institute of Psychiatry, Psychology and Neuroscience, the IOPPN, which is part of King's College London. If you're a psychiatrist aiming to become a neuropsychiatrist, then this course is perfect to help you achieve this. If you're a psychologist looking for clinical training or are interested in neuropsychology, then this is exactly the right course for you. And if you're already working in a multidisciplinary team, a nurse or occupational therapist, then this course will help you progress in your career. The aim of the course is to allow students to develop the skills and knowledge required to specialise in neuropsychiatry as a clinician or academic. This is an area of medicine that's really expanding. We've got all the new tools of technology such as brain imaging and neurophysiology and those coupled with the more traditional skills of psychology and taking a history, I think this is going to be one of the real growth areas in the 21st century. Students will gain a detailed understanding of the full spectrum of neuropsychiatric disorders, from their scientific underpinnings right through to diagnosis and treatment. We aim to provide students with the skills required to assess neuropsychiatry patients, correctly diagnose disorders and formulate comprehensive management plans in a systematic way. So then we have a uh, brain volume that we're looking at. Another aim is to equip students with skills in research methods and statistics. This will enable them to understand, critically appraise and contribute to research into neuropsychiatric disorders. These skills can provide a launch pad for an academic career. You'll have the opportunity to meet clinical experts and to visit regional and national units where people with these conditions are being treated. We've set up clinical attachments for students to spend time at specialist clinics to see how these conditions are being assessed and diagnosed. She reported a loss of routine and they continue to lose a kilogram a week throughout summer. You'll also learn how to prepare and present case formulations and management plans on patients that you've had direct access to. Is it common for people who are homeless to have mental illness? Yeah, I mean, it's very common. Lots of, lots of homeless people have mental illness. Students will complete a dissertation as part of the course. The IOPPN has an extensive portfolio of ongoing research across a wide range of neuropsychiatric disorders and methodologies. So if you could press the left button for female and the right button for male. So if you're looking for a career in neuropsychiatry or professional development to enhance your career as a psychologist, clinician or policymaker, then come and join us at one of the world's leading research centres. You'll find more details on our website.